What's up country dance fans? In this video, we're gonna bring you an advanced two-step pattern, the barrel roll. My name is Brian B. And I'm Miss Megan. We are professional country dancers and we were pretty darn good at two-step in our day. And in this video, we're gonna break down the shoulder roll. We're gonna cover three different things. Number one, we're gonna cover the footwork for you. Number two, we're gonna cover what goes on with the hand path. Then we're gonna give you some of our advanced tips from our professional dance career. So let's get rolling. All right, first things first, the footwork. We have to get the footwork right for this barrel turn or shoulder roll to work. So the footwork is based off an outside turn to a shoulder catch. So we lead the outside turn quick, quick, slow, slow. We have to pick up the shoulder. Now from here, it's an inside turn for the follower for quick, quick, slow, slow. Now to get to the move, I'm gonna have to do some different stuff, but that's the base footwork we wanna understand first. All right, so the second part, once I have the footwork, is I have to understand where I need to be during the actual barrel roll of the turn. So let's talk about that. All right, so talking about the hands, we're gonna use what we call baby steps. So Miss Megan is rotating around the outside and I catch the shoulder, right? From here, I need to make sure that I'm on the pinky side of her hand with my hand. So I'm on the pinky side. From here, we're gonna just do baby steps. During our baby steps, I'm gonna drop this down to about elbow level. I don't wanna bottom this out too far, elbow level we're gonna pass ever so slightly in front of the follower. I don't wanna be dead shoulder to shoulder, and I certainly don't wanna be behind, so just inside, I'm going first. From here, the hand stays between us. I wanna prioritize making sure I get over her head before we come down. So go ahead and practice that one more time. We do baby steps to the outside turn. I have to be able to switch that hand effectively to the pinky side. Now I start to pull that hand down. I am ever so slightly ahead, not too far ahead, just ever so slightly ahead all the way through as we drop the hand. So that is the hand path. Now let's talk about some advanced tips to make it happen in real time. All right, now let's talk about some of the advanced tips that we use to be able to do one or even two or three of these types of turns. Okay gang, let's, let's dig in and give you some of our advanced tips and philosophies on barrel turns. Now, we, anytime we're turning in tandem, at the same time, we use pivot steps, right? So for an understanding of pivots versus chenets, we did a full long video. I'm gonna link that in the corner, but suffice now, since we are both turning in tandem at the same time, we need to pivot through this, right? And we can continue these pivots Pivots will allow us an even rotation for the leader and the follower in half turns. But the key becomes, how the heck does Megan know that this is a pivot? So Megan, can you tell me what you need to feel from the leader to understand that that's a pivot step? Yeah, so followers, when we're following in this move, the fact that this hand comes through in this swooping action is what gets me to do a pivot turn versus a chenet turn, where the hand's coming straight through. So leaders, there's a little bit of an action here and I'll even let you see it sideways, right? If she's turning in a uh, chenet turn, this hand's cutting straight through and it's closing her feet, right? Again, grab that turns video, but that's what's happening in a chenet turn, that's the goal of the follower. In the pivot turn, there's not a huge acceleration of this hand, this might be a mistake for leaders, but there is a small step, so I've asked us to progress just a teeny bit in our feet. So, provided we've mastered that, Right? As soon as we get this pivot step, we fly through, and if I keep the hand going through, I can continue through the turns. All right, because this is an advanced two-step video, I want to give you two different ways to leave this pattern. There are two different ways, as we're doing these, if we do two of these, quick, 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 slow, slow. One is to check away. The other exit is quick, 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 slow. We step back. Now, how would we use each one of those? If we would step away from each other in a checking action, I would use this to continue to a weave type pattern. If I stepped back out of this, I would use this to continue down line in a streamline type pattern. So let's take a look at both of those to music. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that barrel roll video. If you want more intermediate two-step patterns, you can get those here. And if you haven't yet, head on over to Country Dance Online. It's like Netflix for country dancers. There's over 700 patterns broken down by level. Enter your email address on the first page and we'll give you some free gifts.